If the cockpit interior is too dark, activate the flashlight with left alt plus L. If the yellow cross cursor is not visible, press left alt plus C to make it appear. Also, you can press spacebar to cut short long texts in case you are repeating the mission. This training mission is a continuation of our previous cold start lesson, where we will be performing the taxi to the runway and takeoff procedures, as described on the flight manual of the real aircraft but adapted for use on the Pucara aircraft of DCS. This mission includes the following sections. Taxi to the runway. Before takeoff. Takeoff. Initial climb. Communications with ATC have been omitted, as the aircraft does not yet has a radio able to communicate with DCS artificial units. The mission will end once you reach an altitude of 3,000 feet. 1. Get air traffic control clearance. We would usually begin by asking ATC for taxi clearance, instead you will need to use the F-10 map view, to confirm that there is no other traffic on the taxiways. As this mission's logic can't detect if you press F-10 or not. We will internally generate an F10 key press when you press the spacebar. Good. Now use the mouse wheel to zoom out or in until you have a good understanding of where other traffic is. You would return to cockpit view with F1, but again we will generate the F1 internally when you press the spacebar. 2. Adjust lights. As it is fairly dark, activate the cockpit floodlights and reduce a bit the instrument's backlighting. Turn on the formation lights, by right-clicking this switch twice. 3. Check control surfaces. Move the flight stick on all directions, and confirm that the control surfaces move accordingly. Repeat the same with the rudder pedals. Four. We will now perform a wheel brakes check. Increase the propeller's pitch by smoothly moving the pitch levers forward, until the aircraft begins to move straight ahead. 5. Now press the wheel brakes by using the pedals or the W key, until the aircraft fully stops. Ok, now that we are sure that the brakes do work, resume the taxi by releasing the brakes and increasing the pitch lever a bit. Use the rudder pedals, or the Z and X keys, to turn right, following the yellow ground line. 6. Now, Turn right and steer onto the taxiway, and once there align on its yellow center line. Good, you are now on the taxiway, heading towards the start of runway 25. Adjust the propeller's pitch lever to maintain a steady taxi speed, and steer to align with the yellow center line. You are drifting off the taxiway. Don't deviate too much from the center line, it's heading a 75 degrees. No speeding on the taxiways. Keep the taxi speed to no more than 35 knots.
You are nearing the turn towards Street D. Reduce the speed in anticipation of the turn. Turn right to enter Street D, towards the runway 25. Bring the aircraft to a complete stop, just short of entering the runway. As we can't contact ADC, press F10 to access map view, to confirm that there is no other traffic nearby. Once you have checked the map, press F1 to return to cockpit view. Ok, now that we are sure that there is no other traffic, resume the taxi, and enter the runway 25, turning left, and align on its center line. Press the brakes once you are aligned, and completely stop the aircraft to perform a last pre-flight check. Good. We will now do a brief check before takeoff. 2. Confirm the nose wheel is aligned also with the aircraft's center line. Brakes. Apply. Keep the brakes applied until you have finished all checks. 4. Canopy. Check that it's locked, its enunciator should be off. 5. Flaps. On the real aircraft, the takeoff flaps is 12 degrees, but the simulator currently can have the flaps only full up or full down. Because of this, we will have the flaps on full down instead. Check that they are in fact fully extended. 6. Pitch trim. Confirm it is set to 0 degrees, as per the real aircraft. 7. Temperature gauges. Check they are within their normal green range. 8. Pressure gauges. Check that they also are within their normal range. Once the pre-takeoff check are completed, we will begin the takeoff run. 1. Propeller pitch. Increase the pitch lever to its full forward position, for maximum power. 2. Release the wheel brakes. The aircraft will begin its run. 3. Maintain the aircraft aligned with the runway, using the rudder. 4. Once the speed reaches 90 knots, pull smoothly the stick back to rotate. On the air, use pitch trim to set the aircraft on the 10 degree ADI climb line. 5. Retract the landing gear. Don't exceed 150 knots with the gear down. 6. Retract the flaps. Don't exceed 140 knots with the flaps extended. 7. Adjust the pitch trim to set the aircraft on the 10 degree ADI climb line. Reduce the propeller pitch to maintain a 200 knots climb speed. Maintain a heading of keep the climb on the 10 degree ADI line, using the pitch trim. Keep the climb on the 10 degree ADI line, using the pitch trim. Maintain a heading of 255 degrees during the climb. Keep a climb speed of 200 knots, adjusting the propeller's pitch.
keep the climb on the 10 degree ADI line, using the pitch trim. Congratulations, you have managed to taxi, takeoff completed the last section of the mission and reached an altitude of 3000 feet. You have successfully finished this training mission. On the next training mission we will learn the VFR landing procedures. Press spacebar to end this mission.